Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to solve a system of linear equations by substitution. Graphically, solving a system of linear equations in two variables means finding the intersection of the lines. Substitution method can easily be used when either x or y variable is already isolated on one side of the equation. Now let's do our first example. Solve y equals 2x plus 9 and y equals negative 3x plus 24. On our first equation, y is already isolated on the left side and on our second equation, y is also isolated on the left side. So we can just equate 2x plus 9 and negative 3x plus 24. So we have 2x plus 9 equals negative 3x plus 24. First step, we add 3x on both sides. So we have 5x plus 9 equals 24. Then, subtract 9 from both sides we have 5x equals 15. Then, divide both sides by 5, x equals 3. Now, we can find the value of y by using either equation. Using the first equation, we are going to substitute x with 3. So, that's y equals 2 times 3 plus 9 and 2 times 3 is 6 so that's y equals 6 plus 9 and 6 plus 9 equals 15 so our x is 3 our y is 15 and we can write our answer as 3 and 15 example number 2 solve y equals 4x plus 7 and 3x minus 2y equals 11 on our first equation y is already isolated on the left side so we can substitute y on the second equation with 4x plus 7 so we have 3x minus 2 times the quantity 4x plus 7 equals 11 next we are going to get rid of parentheses so to do that, we multiply negative 2 times 4x and negative 2 times 7. So we have 3x minus 8x minus 14 equals 11. Now we can combine like terms. 3x minus 8x, that's negative 5x. So we have negative 5x minus 14 equals 11. Then after that, we are going to add 14 on both sides so that becomes negative 5x equals 25 dividing both sides by negative 5 x equals negative 5 now to solve for x we will use the first equation substituting x with negative 5 so it becomes y equals 4 times negative 5 plus 7 and 4 times negative 5 is negative 20 so we have y equals negative 20 plus 7 and negative 20 plus 7 is negative 13 so our x is negative 5 and our y is negative 13 we can write our answer as coordinates negative 5 and negative 13 example number 3 Solve 7x plus 3y equals negative 10 and x equals 2y minus 16. On our second equation, x is already isolated on the left side. So we can substitute x on the first equation with 2y minus 16. So it becomes 7 times the quantity 2y minus 16 plus 3y equals negative 10. Next step, we are going to get rid of parentheses. 
that's 7 times 2y and 7 times negative 16 so that gives us 14y minus 112 then plus 3y equals negative 10 then we can collect like terms 14y and 3y that's 17y then minus 112 equals negative 10 then we add 112 on both sides so 17y equals 102 then divide both sides by 17 y equals 6 and we can solve for x by substituting y with 6 on our second equation so it becomes x equals 2 times 6 minus 16 and 2 times 6 is 12 so x equals 12 minus 16 and 12 minus 16 equals negative 4 so our x is negative 4 and our y is 6 we can write our answer as coordinates negative 4 and 6 now your turn solve the following using substitution method number one solve 6x minus 5y equals negative 22 and y equals 5x minus 7 number two solve x equals 8y minus 23 and 3x plus 5y equals negative 11 you can pause the video and take your time working on these two items now I will show you the answer for number one x equals 3 and y equals 8 or we can write our answer as coordinates 3 and 8 for number 2, x equals negative 7 and y equals 2. Or we can write our answer as coordinates negative 7 and 2. Did you get the two items right? I hope you did. Thanks for watching guys. This is Teacher Red Jill. Keep safe.